everybody, Zephyrstorm here, and welcome back to another settlement tour. So, here is, uh, we're in a mine, obviously, that we're going to connect. This tunnel that goes down this way is going to connect over to Cove of Youth on the other side of the mountain. We, I uh, created a deed on this side of the lake so that we could kind of control this mine entrance. We're going to have a uh, store, not a store, like a wine storage, uh, beer storage, liquor storage area. We're going to build a house right here inside this cave to store all that because it decreases the decay rate of those items. So I think we have... Uh, that's in the village. I think all the way over to this edge here. <clears throat> That's still there. That's perimeter. That's village. So we have up to here. So we, I'm going to dig all this out eventually. And connect that in. Right now, you see there's a forge there. And this part of the mine, you, somebody else dug all this out. It must have belonged to somebody else before. But obviously they're not here anymore. And then I deeded this side of this lake. So we're calling it Traveler's Rest, and see Callaway Basin is on the other side over there, and we're on this side of the lake. What I hope to do is pretty much control this entire lake. I'd like to get one other, one or two more deeds over here, you know, from other people or whatever that want to be part of the village, and maybe just kind of control this whole lake. So I went ahead and built a, basically all it's going to be is a big, a giant inn with one, two, three, at least three rooms upstairs. And then, like, you know, a dining area on the bottom. And it's basically the last stop before you cut through the mine and go to the other side of the mountains over there. So, we've constructed this so far. You see it says Traveler's Rest right there. So, we'll have a kitchen in here, a bar, and a bunch of tables. And then, of course, there's an upstairs. I haven't finished the roof yet or built the walls for the individual rooms. But it's basically going to be a bunch of two, well, it could be one by three, maybe one by three rooms. No, it can't be one by three. It's going to be one by two or something. So, um, all right, sorry about that. Anyway, so um, what did I say? So I think we're going to go with two, one by two rooms, just one by two. They'll just have a bed and a nightstand or something in there. So I'll have three of those. And then over here, I'm basically going to make like a master bedroom or owner suite or whatever for this deed. Pretty cool. <clears throat> Not too bad. Obviously, I finished paving, got that high enough to be able to lay this flooring in. And then back here is going to be a farm, small farm, maybe an herb farm. Or I was thinking about maybe making a water farm for like rice and reeds and stuff like that. Um, but I haven't decided. And then over here will be the stable for the inn for people to board their horses or whatever. Uh, I started laying it out. Basically the stable will be in this row right back here. And that is pretty much for this deed. It's nice that it has tar pit already. It has a lot of clay. Oh, I guess I don't want to walk through there too much. I'm going slow because I have 34 pounds of weight apparently. Um, so a lot of... What did I say? Clay. So there's a bunch of clay there. I'm going to reconstruct... I've worked on this road a little bit. So going up this way going to reconstruct this road halfway up there's another mine entrance over here that is actually closed up and I'm gonna create a road going off to the left in that direction basically going whatever northeast diagonally maybe to connect up to the front of the cove on the other side there this road is gonna be all pulled out but you can see we have a bunch of sand probably turn all this into sand so I have st enough sand. Uh, maybe make something else over here. And then I think this is still perimeter. 
Nope, not yet. Perimeter ends. That's perimeter. So this is the last perimeter tile. So we're going that way. You see there's the other mine entrance. Or it could be a mine entrance. It's not open. But that road, I've started creating a road there, which will then connect up to this bridge directly. So this part can be cut out. I guess you really don't need to see all of this. What is it, F10? Yeah, F10. Uh, all right, so... Right, so it could actually even dredge this out if I wanted to make the lake a little bit bigger, but the lake doesn't really need to be any bigger. Um, and then this road, like I said, will go straight up that way. And that mine entrance is right up over there. So it'll be a straight road over the bridge. And then we'll go over to Callaway Basin on the other side. So it'd be nice to get a deed here. Um, you can see up here there was another deed right see there's part of a bridge it never was finished but you can see it right there highlighted so there's a part of a bridge up there like I said never complete so it'd be nice to have one more deed here and then another deed on this other side of the road that's up here so one on each side of the road would be pretty interesting to have this is a nice little valley or whatever surrounded by the mountains it's pretty cool nice big lake nobody seemed to want the area so we're just gonna take it over for ourselves and then this is the other road so like I said another deed could go on this side I was thinking about maybe actually making a shipping lane that actually cuts through and connects out to the ocean over here um, it's maybe 50 tiles, 100 tiles or whatever at the most. It's not very far. Uh, then you could actually ship right from the the lake here and then actually out to the ocean. We could make a bigger, a taller bridge and be able to sail right under it and then connect over there. So that might be something that I'll do eventually. And then let's get over to the other property. As you can see, coming along I still have a lot of work to do but I've built the tiers up most of the tiers are done and there was just a big scorpion on the property so I don't know if he's still there but we'll find out when we get over there we will leave him alone for now because fighting the scorpion is not what this video is about And I apparently lost my horse over my Pinto horse that I had, Jolly Cloud. I got DC'd, and when I came back on, he, she was missing. So she was over in the Age Fat Alliance over in New Haven Beach, and I can't seem to find her now. So she wandered off because I mistakenly didn't have a saddle on her, apparently. And so she's out there floating around somewhere, but I can't find her. So here's the front of the deed. Here's a mine shaft, the main mine shaft up here that we will be getting all of our ore from. And like I said, you can see the mountains like all the way across. I don't know what's going on with the graphics today, but oh yeah, the scorpion is still up there. So we have two big, two big mine or not mines, uh, farms. Two big farms. We have one on this side. It's about 50 tiles. And another one. Who's going to attack me? And we'll have another one on this side. Oh, my cow died. He was old anyway. Another one with 50 tiles on this side. And what will happen is this house that we started off with will come down. And this will just be a farm. So. That's all we'll be doing on these two sections up here. We'll sneak out the back. Main reason why you want more than one gate in your gate or more than one door in your house is. So if you get stuck on the front one, you can get out the back one. So here's the first tier. I'm thinking that this tier will have uh, four houses, four little estates, whatever you want to call it. I think we'll put the road, I was going to put it in the middle and make smaller 
estates and make like eight of them, but I think I'm just going to move it to four. And the road, like, you know, the path or whatever will cut through here. Maybe I'll have a row of fruit trees and then the path next to it. And then basically like four by seven or five by seven little estates can be here. So I could, you know, get like four settlers if they want to join me up. They can handle hang out there. And then on this tier will be um, basically stables. Uh, on this end will be like horse or cow stables. Is that a dog? No, it's red. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, maybe it's a like cougar. So there'll be like a bunch of stalls on this end. And then on, on the front is going to be, you know, with a state like a big stable running down the middle. So like a three tile wide stable, two story. And then in the front here will be two buildings, you know, be all attached as one, but it'll be, uh, you know, like blacksmithing shop on one side, masonry shop on the other side, tailor, you know, whatever, those kind of things will be on and then it'll be the same on both sides so these two buildings will look identical and then up here on the last tier even though it looks like there's more tiers in the back but mostly because I'm getting dirt out of there until I decide to go all the way back uh, that tier up there I plan on putting basically just a big giant castle kind of estate or one big giant estate like the master estate or whatever or the castle or whatever you want to call it so that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you. Obviously, I got a lot of ways to go. I still got to fill all this in. Haven't been able to put much time in lately. There's another scorpion up there. Yep. Might have to do some hunting. So I got to fill all this in with dirt. And then work on clearing that out. There's a dog over there. Work on clearing all that out. But that's pretty much what she looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And if you have any comments, concerns, ideas, or suggestions of what should be happening, please let me know. That would be great. And I hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's, Christmas, holiday, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it is that you celebrated. And like I said, I will see you next time. Take care.